Buying a Class C motorhome can sometimes be a little bit confusing. In this series, I'd like to take a look at some of the differences between motorhomes that look pretty much the same, but they're quite different. Let's start off with the Integra Esteem versus the Integra Odyssey. Let's go. So let's look at this esteem. Starting off on the outside, one difference that you may see is these chrome mirrors, fiberglass running boards, and fiberglass surrounds. Here on the Odyssey, you'll have a basic running board, a flat fiberglass surround, and plastic mirrors. On this esteem, the standard outside package will have partial paint. So this front cap, the gray part is going to be painted and this lower part is going to be painted for extra durability and lasting longer. On the Odyssey, it will come standard, all fiberglass, no paint, just decals. Now you can option this with the same partial paint as the Esteem, but the Esteem has the option for full paint. Here on the Esteem, you have metal slam latch baggage doors. They're nice and thick and they slam shut. Here on the Odyssey, you have very similar doors, but they have this little twisty knob. Coming inside the coach, you will notice the Esteem comes standard with hydraulic leveling jacks, where the Odyssey, this is an option. Up on the roof, you have 190 watts of solar standard on the Esteem, but optional on the Odyssey. As part of that solar package, you will also get the second battery as standard, or again, optional on the Odyssey. You also get a dual controller. Oh, and we can't forget the Easy Drive. The Esteem will come with the Elite package with the inclusion of the FSD shock technology from Kony, where the Odyssey will have all of the Easy Drive features except for these Kony shocks. On the Esteem, you'll get standard a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump. On the Odyssey, this is optional. It will come with a standard 13.5. Here on the inside, you do have a slightly different interior package. One thing that stands out is the material used for your fabrics is a softer, a little bit more supple material on the Esteem. Here in the galley, you will get solid surface countertops with flush mounted solid surface sink covers. It's a very nice touch. For the window treatments, you will have these roller blackout shades on the Esteem. And up on the ceiling, I don't know if you can see it, but you have a soft touch vinyl ceiling. All in all, the Esteem does seem to have a little bit more of a luxurious ambience. They do share many of the same floor plans One's just, you know, a little nicer than the other. But I think both are very good coaches. One of the biggest differences is some of the options on the Odyssey are standard on the Esteem. And the price difference is going to be around $10,000, depending on the model and how you spec it out. could be less. And just to compare interiors, here is the Odyssey with a bit of a different vinyl here and here. These jackknife sofas on the Esteem will be a trifold sofa, so it'll offer a lot more sleeping as well. The roof on the Odyssey is a little bit more of a hard plastic. For window treatments, you have a pleated pull-down shade. Here are the laminated countertops with the drying rack and the bamboo cover in place of the flush-mounted solid surface covers. And the bedroom, 
Not a huge difference. This is obviously a different floor plan. Typically, most buyers are going to spec out the Odyssey as close to the Esteem as possible. But the one option that you can't get on the Odyssey is that full paint package, which can be very desirable. I hope this bit of information helps you decide and uh, maybe help you just understand the differences between the two models. Again, at first sight, they look very similar. If you like stuff like this, give me a subscribe. If you know some friends who want this information, share it. Have a great day and happy camping.